Welcome to video number one of the listening section. And I call this video, The Art of Listening, Solving Every Question in Part One Successfully. The objectives of this video are, number one, what the test is about. Two, be careful with accents. Three, developing the art of predicting. Four, managing your time wisely. Five, distractors. And six, the power of transcripts. Part one, listening section for the FCE and the CAE exam. First, let's get ready for the first question or the first objective. What the test is about? Well, it's a very good question. The listening test has four parts and takes about 40 minutes. You normally have to do this after the reading and writing test, so you will be quite tired. Every recording is played twice, but it's still the test of your concentration. Here are some general tips before we look at each section in a little bit more detail. CAE and FCE listening part one, okay? So part one is a multiple choice section. You hear people talking to each other and you have two questions about what you hear. There are three short recordings, which means a total of six questions to answer. Here is a sample. First, we have to underline keywords and predict what the answer might be. So by doing these guys, you will be more ready, you will be more prepared because let's face it, it's easier to remember keywords than remembering complete answers, sentences and questions, okay? So the easier you make it, the more effective your answers will be, right? So next, be careful with, be careful with accents. Sometimes students get used to hearing their English teacher and think their listening skills are really good. But then comes exam and accents from around the world, like Britain, America, New Zealand, um, start. So here is when the problem begins. So suddenly it's not so easy. Avoid this by listening to English in all kinds of accents. Where? Movies. TV shows, podcasts, audiobooks, okay? Practice makes the master, as I always say, guys. So you have to do the work. Developing the art of predicting. C, get used to predicting answers before you listen. Read the question. Underline the keywords. And then think, what is the most likely answer? It doesn't matter if you are right or not. Just predicting the answer helps you tune in to the recording. Manage your time wisely. You might think there isn't much time management you can do in the listening test. But you know what? I completely disagree. Not everyone prepares for the CAE or the FCE exam. So Cambridge has to explain what to do in a long, slow introduction. But since you know what to do, you can ignore the introduction and get it started immediately. As soon as you're allowed to open the test paper, turn to section one and start underlining keywords in the questions. Meanwhile, the other students will be listening to this. Now, open your question paper and look at part one. Pause five seconds. You will hear three different extracts for questions one to six, Choose the answer A, B, or C, which fits best according to what you hear. There are two questions for each extract. Extract one, you hear two friends discussing the topic of marketing. Now look at the questions one and two, and there is a pause of 15 seconds. Okay, so this is basically the introduction to the listening test. And as you could see, you're gonna skip it. You're gonna skip the introductions to the other parts too when you get there, all right? So you don't need to listen to these useless pieces of information. Why? Because
because you are ready. You are different than most people out there. Okay, so you're prepared for that. So just go straight with uh, the questions and the options. All right. Awesome. The power of transcripts. Well, let me talk to you about the power of transcripts. One of the best ways to improve and to learn about the structures is to read the transcript of the recording after you have done the exercise. In my experience, students never do this, and it's a real shame. Not only will you learn some vocabulary and grammar by studying the transcript, but you will see which of Cambridge traps you fell into. So most people take this into, most people, this, most people take this for granted, guys. So do not be like those people, all right? So try it. Experiment this technique. Let's see if it's worse or not for you, all right? Awesome. So also, <clears throat> there is another strategy called distractors. So let me talk to you about distractors. Cambridge uses distractors to lead wicked students in the wrong direction. If you underline a keyword in the answer, and you hear the, the exact word in the recording, it's probably not the answer. So watch out for answers like, the man lives in China, when the speaker says, I used to live in China, or I always wanted to live in China, okay? So don't fall into the trap, okay? Never fell into the trap. So uh, just be ready, be prepared, Try to identify the distractors and go straight with the right answers. Well, just to finish this video, guys, let me share with you my blueprint. That is to say, the set of steps I highly recommend you to follow by heart. Number one, read the questions and the options as soon as you get your exam. Do not listen to the instructions. Do not wait for the proctor to tell you what to do. Take massive action number two underline the keywords in the questions and the options that's fundamental three listen to the audio recording for the first time four select the right answer five listen to the audio recording for the second time and six revise your answers and make corrections if necessary okay so these are pretty much the steps guys you need to follow and as I always say, what works for you might not work for me, and what works for me might not work for you. So try it, experiment it. There is no better way, guys, to get to create a breakthrough than by doing it yourself. Okay, so do not be like those people who just watch the videos and then they eat a sandwich. No, so watch the videos, join our live sessions, and work on the extra materials you have access to and do the work, do the work. Commit yourself for greatness, okay? You can do it. Thank you. So that's the end, guys, of this video. This is the first video of the listening section, and I hope I can see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.